OBD connector and fault codes. OBD2 connector and fault codes explained. The OBD onboard diagnostic connector is a hardwired communication link to the ECU electronic controller unit through which is allowed access to read and reset a vehicle's fault codes. In today's vehicles, there are more various onboard computer modules dedicated to different tasks throughout the vehicle. Also, the access to that different diagnostic information of the modules is via the diagnostic connector. In most vehicles, there is only one OBD2 connector in the vehicle through which all systems can be diagnosed and programmed. OBD2 Diagnostic Connector Pin Layout Since the introduction of the OBD2 standard, the connector and the pinout arrangement are now the identical in all vehicles. Figure 1 shows the standard female 16 pin, two rows of 8 pins, J1962 interface connector, and assignment. Some pins are standard and required by all manufacturers while others, manufacturer-specific, are left to the individual discretion of manufacturers. The communication bus lines are used for data transmission, ISO lines provide data transfer for many vehicles, and the manufacturer-specific terminals can be used for any purpose the manufacturer chooses. OBD2 Connector Interface and Pin Layout Pin 1. Manufacturer-Specific Pin 2. Bus, Plus, Positive Line Pin 3. Manufacturer-Specific Pin 4. Chassis Ground Pin 5. Signal Ground Pin 6. Can High Pin 7. ISO K line. Pin 8. Manufacturer specific. Pin 9. Manufacturer specific. Pin 10. Bus, dash, negative line. Pin 11. Manufacturer specific. Pin 12. Manufacturer specific. Pin 13. Manufacturer specific. Pin 14. Can low. Pin 15. ISO L line. Pin 16. Battery Voltage. OBD Diagnostic Connector Location. Typically OBD2 connector is located on the driver's side of the passenger compartment, close to the steering wheel or gear stick center console for easy access by the diagnostic technicians from both the passenger side, as well from outside the vehicle. Unlike OBD2 connector where it's standardized to be within 0.6 meters, 24 inch, of the steering wheel area or within reach of the driver, an OBDI connector may be located in other areas, such as under the hood and engine compartment nearby the brake booster for example. OBD2 Fault Codes Explained Fault codes also known as Diagnostic Trouble Codes, DTCs, typically are made up of a letter followed by four numbers, so each code has a total of five characters. Here is an identification of the used characters. First character. B. Body systems, lighting, airbags, climate control system, etc. C. Chassis systems, anti-lock brake system, electronic suspension and steering systems, etc. P. Power rain systems, engine, emission and transmission systems. U. Network communication and vehicle integration systems, controller area network wiring bus and modules, etc. Second character. 0. Standardized ISO slash C code. 1. Manufacturer specific code. 2. Manufacturer specific code or ISO slash C code. 3. Manufacturer specific code or ISO slash C code. Third character. 0. Overall system. 1. Secondary air injection system. 2. Fuel system. 3. Ignition System 4. Exhaust Monitoring System 5. Idle Speed Control or Cruise Control 6. Input, Output Signal from Control Units 7. Transmission System 8. Transmission System 9. Transmission System 4th and 5th Character 20. Refers to the actual component that the ECU had identified with a fault. OBD2 Code Reader, How to Read Fault Codes Let's look at the code PO302 as an example. 
The first character of the code is a letter designation to indicate the general subsystem that sets the code. In this case, P, indicate to power train. The second numeric character, 0, shows that this is a generic, C or ISO, code. The third numeric character denotes the subsystem affected. In this case, 3, indicates an ignition system misfire. The final two numeric characters indicate a code number that identifies a specific fault in a circuit or component, and will often define the type of fault being experienced. In this case, O2, indicates for misfire detected in the second cylinder. 